I'll take you to the process of developing the map of Bhutan in a QGIS software. So in order to develop the map of Bhutan first you need to install the QGIS software in your laptop. Then after installing the QGIS software you'll have uh, this kind of pages, page on your laptop or PC. Once you are done with that then you click on the new page, so new empty page or a new empty project here then next what you are going to do is you look for the browser or layers so if the browser and layers are not present in your PC you simply click on the view then you go to panel and then check the layers and browsers so mine is done so I have a browser here and then layer here next uh, we look for the data so my data is in C okay. okay then I have a data here REC GIS data so this should be the folder then click on data next you go to Songkak click on Songkak and then you'll have a Songkak shape files so you can double click on Songkak shape files or you can drag this Songkak shape files like this to this empty space and then release it so you'll have a map of Bhutan like this then now we'll try to change the color of the map so in order to change the color of the map you have two options you can either click on this Tonkak twice or you can right click and then you'll have a properties click on the properties and then you'll have an option like this after that you go to symbology and then you click on simple fill and then try to choose a color and then apply then ok and you if you want to change the inside and outside boundary color again click on Zonkok shape files double click then you can click simple fill here then try to change the color of stroke color here choose the color you want apply ok now let us put the names of Zonkok in the map so in order to put the names of the Zonkok you can do it in a similar process double click the Zonkok then this time you go to level then here change the level to single level then click on buffer try to check this draw buffer click apply and then ok so you will have the names of Tsongkok now we will try to change the color of this map uh, Tsongkok wise so again double click on this Tsongkok Okay, then next go to symbology. Now we'll try to change this single symbol to graduate. This time the value should be total population. You can change the color. So I'll choose this one. And then you can classify. You can categorize. I'll try to make it into four classes and then I classify you need to click on classify then apply then ok so you'll have a map of Bhutan like this so this is not the final map of Bhutan so in order to make it final we'll go to project click on project then click on new print layout and try to keep the name of the map click OK 
key after that you click on the tab add item add map left uh, press the left mouse and try to drag down and then you can release the mouse okay now we'll try to add the legend click on add legend again in the similar process try to drag and then release okay now next we will try to insert the north arrow add add north arrow in a similar process again drag and then release so you will have option if you go down click on the arrow and you will have a multiple arrow option choose one okay now we'll try to insert a north above the arrow so add add level in the similar process again drag and release now try to write it in this and okay then we can increase the font okay we can change the color of the font and we can justify we can do the alignment again whether you want it to be in the left or right or in the center so i want it in the center and here again option top middle and bottom so i want it to be in middle okay now let us add the scale click on add scale in a similar process click the left mouse and then drag again and release it increase the level if you want so I'll increase by 5 then I'll increase to the right if you want to increase the height you can you can increase the height okay now let us make it as a final map so we'll click on layout export as image okay so this should be a jpeg format if it's not a jpeg format you click here and then look for the jpeg file okay then click save so if you want to have a clear picture you can increase this resolution you can add the resolution here so i'll keep it as a 300 just now and then click save so this is my final map of the button thank you